What's up fam, this is your girl Amanda and I'm coming back to y'all with Amanda Vlogs. So I made a video earlier today about Maya Campbell and if y'all have not seen the video that had been floating around social media of Maya asking a local Atlanta rapper for some crack, then check out the video that I did today. It is up in the playlist so check that out. But Maya has reverted back to her old ways. Y'all know that last year she had gotten clean and now she is back on the wrong track and she is back on crack. And so LL Cool J actually wanted to reach out to her and offer some of his help. And he went to Instagram asking for people to give him Maya's contact information so he can get in contact with her. And so apparently someone may have given him some kind of information because he did say thank you as well on his Instagram. And so now Maya has responded to LL and she says that she loved him, that she did not need his help and that she needed a benefit concert for mental illness. So you guys check out this video that Maya made. Go. Hey Todd. Look, bro, I love you. Okay. I don't need help. I just need a benefit concert. Um for mental health. Um don't TMZ me. It's really me. This is Daryl. And there's a shop that I temp at or whatever. We're good. I'm good. I'm doing property. I have investments. I'm a real serious person. And my show is called From the Bottom of Season 2. How should I get in touch with you? Um, don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> now, for real, how should I get in touch with you? Who? LL. Todd. Uh, um, I'm, I'm really on Instagram, but I don't want it to go down, you know? Well, well how, how should I get in touch with you? I don't know. I don't know. Pray to God that uh, I don't uh, uh, start rapping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, man. Be serious, man. No, man. I don't know. Leave me alone. Oh, sh don't scream. Relax. Calm down. Be serious. So you don't want to get in touch with me. I wanted to do a benefit concert. I don't want nobody to But to do that, you gotta get you gotta get in touch with you. How is he gonna uh, do that? Uh, uh, Daryl Cole. So or Chucky Monster at Yahoo.com. Or my, you have my mom's number. That's three. But so that's just for you. You sure he has your know, mom's number? I think he just got it. Yeah, he did. Well, you don't want to do it live. So Cindy Michelle gave just... me my mom's number. Chucky Monster at um, and then um at Yahoo, and then Daryl um on Twitter. Yeah, he can hit me right here on okay. Facebook. All right, thank if you. If you see this, then I'll... And that's only for the next thirty days. Thank you. Nothing else you want to say? That's it. Oh, I just want to see how it looks. Nah, it don't look too so straight. Okay, you guys. So y'all saw the video, and y'all, this is truly sad. It is truly sad that she is refusing the help that she actually needs. And I commend LL for reaching out to her and trying to help her because seeing how she was up until now, it's kind of disturbing. It's, it's sad to see her like that. And you can tell that she was actually embarrassed with talking because she was like my teeth. And so she's very embarrassed, but it seems like she doesn't want the help at this point in time. And she was refusing the help. And she acted like she did not want to give the contact information to him. Another thing I noticed in the video, she said, give LL my mom's number. Now, if I can recall, her mother passed away back in 2006. So either she was high right there or she just did not realize that her mother had passed away. I don't know what that was about, but she said, give him my mom's number. Her mother passed away a long time ago. And she was like, I'm not down for it. And really, she really needs to be down for it because she really needs help. She has a daughter that she does not take care of. She probably never really see this child. I know that she saw the child back in like 2013 because she was on Ayala Fix My Life. But who knows when the last time she saw her daughter. She needs to get the help for her child. And like I said in the other video, I kind of thought it was fucked up that the dude actually recorded her. And this is not the first time that she's been recorded while she was high and on drugs. And 
she needs to get her mental illness taken care of and she needs to get her drug addiction taken care of as well and i just hate that she is refusing the help from ll because she really does need it not only for herself but for her family and her child as well but one thing i have learned is no matter how much you want to help someone they have to want to help themselves first in order for them to seek out help from other people so whenever she is actually fed up with getting high all the time, she will get the necessary help that she needs. But she really needs it right now because it's sad to see her in the way that she is. It's really, really sad. But hey, she will get the help when she really wants to get it. So what do y'all think about her refusing the help from LL? Because we all know that mental illness is real. It is not something to play with. A lot of people suffer from mental illnesses and it gets brushed under the rug a lot of times. Okay, guys, so let me know your thoughts about this whole situation. Y'all know what y'all gotta do. Just comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can watch other videos that I post like all the time, y'all. So y'all know what y'all gotta do. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. Alrighty, bye.